I had I had been working as a raft guide and a climbing guide for a couple of years, living out of the back of my Tacoma, and essentially saw these different pieces on the market and kind of decided that um, nobody was making what we were after. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are just working to refine and get a little bit cleaner and more affordable. What's up everybody? Well, behind me here is the Hauer Overland Rig. You may have seen this on Instagram. This thing's super cool and uh, really excited to uh, chat with you here today. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you, Bill. So this is on a Land Rover Defender then? Yeah, it's a 110 uh, high capacity pickup. It's a 1991 with a little four cylinder diesel on it and uh, puts around nice and slow. Yeah, yeah, you do pedal this one. It's like a hybrid. Um, we were after something we could keep all of our gear up top, um, so keep our roof loaded with several hundred pounds um, up or down. So we were trying out rooftop tents. That wasn't working with what we were essentially trying to accomplish. We wanted 400 pounds up there, whether it was up or down. Um, so we developed this system. Um, this one is obviously a prototype, as we chatted. Um, but it was a, another step to kind of test some other lift mechanism and find out whether we were on the right track or not. Um, and so this really helped to encourage us and let us know that we were. I mean, the construction inside is just beautiful. It looks like it looks great in pictures, but it's even better in person. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. We use uh, veneered plywood, so we don't have any hollow voids in any of our construction anywhere, so it's really strong sheets. Mm -hmm. And like we were chatting earlier, we're switching to kind of more of a veneered um, interior in general, just for get some of those exotic sheets in there. Nice. So the top can go, goes up, what is that, three, four feet? Yeah, it's like 37 inches, I think. Yeah, so quite a big pop up, and then, I mean, you got queen size bed it looks like up there yeah just shy of a queen and then that turns into um so that actually pops up fold a little ladder away and that just pops up to kind of give you that increased headroom so yeah it's it's a little north of like seven feet on the inside from the ground still get changed in here you still got a little bit of space if someone's sleeping you can still jump down and get dressed you're not kind of committed waiting for the, the wife or husband to wake up before you can start your day. And okay. Yeah, we're doing um, a lot of interior build outs right now. Um, and that seems to be flowing pretty well for the moment. But yeah, the eventual goal is to get these into full production. Um, be able to sell some of our own products. Very cool. We like building out vans and old trippies, but to make our own product and get a bunch of these on the market would be the goal. It's so <laughs> huge. Seriously, it's huge. The edges. I can't believe it. projects underway pretty yeah, soon, we've got right? a couple high ace vans. We're doing um, a lot of turbo diesel Toyotas. Um, Yoda Imports is bringing in quite a few. Uh, and then Fit Garage is also doing quite a few Troopies. So we're, we're kind of scattered all over and um, doing a lot of these old Toyotas. Nice, man. Enjoying them, yeah. Well, yeah, it's beautiful work and uh, glad to finally meet you yeah, and absolutely. show some stuff off. Um, but yeah, we want to make sure people can find you. I know you're on Instagram at Howard Overland, right? Yep, at Howard Overland. And the website is www.howardoverland.com. Awesome, man. Yeah, it's nice music. Sweet. Well, thanks again for showing us everything. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure hanging at the shop. 
Make sure you subscribe here so you don't miss any of the, uh, I don't know, random videos I got about overlanding. <laughs> and uh, the question is, are you down to mob? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> are you down to mob? <laughs> are you down to mob? <laughs>